Welcome everyone to another episode of Price Targets with your host Bitcoin Jack. Bitcoin remains ranging, kind of nuked 30k for a little brief moment today. I'm not really sure whether I can tell you Bitcoin is bearish or bullish. I'm kind of torn between a lot of conflicting signals. Um, what we do know right now is um, there is bullish buying on Coinbase. There is negative or flat funding on perpetuals, uh, on futures. So there is a little bit of a lifeline here. Um, but if it turns out that we continue selling off, I think it's going to get very ugly. First, I want your attention for ECOS, a new regul fully regulatory compliant exchange. They have SPOT, they have PERBS, they have fiat on ramps and off ramps. So make sure you check them out. There's a link in the description below and in the watermark. Um, there's still a couple of days left in Jan with the zero fee trading and they're launching um, a trading competition where you can win all kinds of cool prices that uh, Bitcoin, ETH, and more. So make sure you go check that out. Let's dive into Bitcoin. I want to talk about ETH as well. I'm conflicted, heavily conflicted. Price is pretty much a break even for me right now. Um, been we've been hedged, close to hedge last week, and now price can do a few things. Like honestly, um. There's this week here on the on the fourth of Jan that arguably is a level that needs to be ran. Um, but at the same time, a lot of people are short selling um, in this region. So I don't know if they get to profit. So if we go there and there's going to be interest at this low, I think it's going to puke further. Um, and I mean, I can argue back and forth um, what's going to happen here, and I don't know. Um, I honestly don't know. Um, we can identify a few things. Essentially, um, a sort of wedge, which could visit the lower boundary, um, but it could just have front run it here just as this week may have front run this low on the 4th of Jan. Um, so really where there's potential bullishness again in the market is once we break this diagonal and also pop and close back inside the previous um, range up here, the bad news is going to happen if the market is going to come to 27k and doesn't see a huge bounce um then the other thing that i value is very important to hold is this diagonal and it kind of seems arbitrary that it's being drawn in the middle of nowhere um but really it isn't it's kind of a technique used um there's this diagonal channel right here. Um, and if we zoom in, what we can see is it can kind of contains this, this high, this high, and these lows right here. And if we one to one draw a FIP, a FIP channel, let's see if I can find that FIP channel right there, kind of extend this one to one to here um, we kind of end up with this diagonal so it's kind of like um, a skewed range uh, multiplied to this side really want to hold that if we don't hold that I'm torn because then I honestly think that um, the bid is here might get fucked and the price is going to come down into this block um, at 23, 24K. So I'm not really sure what to tell you what price is going to do here. Um, there is bullish buying on Coinbase, which kind of could save the day. 
Um, but at the same time, we have to consider that, oops, let me just find this. At the same time, we have to consider that this remains a bearish retest until it get, gets claimed. So there's two steps to, to become really bullish. And that's first reclaiming this into the, this little previous range. And then the second thing I want to see on the daily is a claim of this trend line and this horizontal level at 33.3K. Um, if we can manage that, market is more bearish than I thought. Can I say much more than that? No. Um, I'm, I'm slightly long, spot long. And if we break further down, I'm not going to be bidding. Um, I'm not going to be bidding. I'm going to be waiting for strength. Um, if we exclude this region, and I'm not really sure if we can do that, but let's just kind of go through the, re the reasoning I have. Like, there's one thing I don't like. A level being tested way too many times. Like, um, people who've been following me for a long time, um, I always say never trust the fourth. Doesn't mean that the, f the fourth test of a level always fails and breaks, but the reality is that it's just not a great edge um, to long something that's been tested four times. Um, at that point, you want to see the market prove by breaking market structure to the other side. So if we look at it this way and consider there's some kind of support to the left, and this is one, two, three, that's all, that's, that's fine. You know, like it doesn't mean you have to like freaking long it, but you got to be considerate to the fact that there's still a decent edge for a bounce. If we ignore it and we consider let's see we consider this to be a test of uh, demand as well then it's kind of the fourth test right now so really what we want to see right now is reclaim this which has a little range between here and then the second thing we want to see is diagonal claimed horizontal claim that's a good sign of strength and that's something I would be willing to start risking um, more. So right now I'm still conservative. It's up to the market to show its strength. I'm slightly long. I want to see strength. The other thing um, generally in bullish markets, you're going to have markup. And then at some point, you're going to have some kind of corrective structure. There's a few corrective structures you can see, which is generally either you have like a, a very simple ABC. Um, sometimes you have falling wedges. So basically one, two, three, four, five. And then there's a few other variations, which are um, running flats, which is A, B, See, so basically what happens is the first corrective move gets blown out of the water and then the second corrective move down kind of retests the first corrective move down and then market continues. Then there's one more generally what you see is um, first corrective move down, second corrective move up and then a third one that's lower. So basically you nuke both sides and then you reclaim that range and you continue rallying. Um, at some point you can start thinking about what's happening right here. Um, I consider this to still be part of the bull run, um, of the impulsive move. So we can kind of ignore for the pattern everything that happened up here. What we can do is look at what this is. So initially we have some kind of ABC, 
which now may turn into an ABCDE slash wedge. So basically five moves. And what sometimes happens is that the fifth move gets truncated or that this is already part of the next impulsive move up. So that's really the, the few flavors we have. And I don't want to see the market come here. I don't know. I'm at least like, I don't mind it going there, but if it goes there, I'm not going to be a buyer. Um, I'm going to be waiting to see the market show strength. And that's because I'm not really sure whether this is like one, two, three, four, or one, two, three. Um, if this is one, two, three, four, then it's just going to probably nuke through it. Um, if it doesn't nuke through it, then there's going to be opportunity to wait and see um, the wedge break out, right? Um, so for now, I'm betting that we may see upside. Uh, and if we kind of lose this level here, 30K um, on the daily, that's where I'm going to be reducing risk and hopefully um, figure out what the market is going to do at some point. There's some hope. There's quite a bit of volume here. Um, without a lot, without a big move, right? So a lot of volume here, big move. Um, a lot of volume here, still quite a big move. Now there's a lot of volume and price hasn't really flinched much. So the game plan is to wait for a reclaim of this level here, pretty much like 31K. And then hopefully see a breakout of this horizontal at 33.3 and the diagonal. And if that's the case, you see like one, two, three, four. Now if I trust the fourth, at, and hopefully that's a continuation pattern um, that we're going to see 38, 39. And once we can actually claim, especially on the daily uh, 40K, that's very, bull uh, very bullish. To the downside, I'm going to have to repeat myself. Um, if we cannot manage to claim this, if we cannot manage to claim 33.3, I think that we're going to be testing the January low and possibly continue further down to, what's this, 24, 23K. Um, kind of this range, this sell-off before continuation upwards is then the next kind of support. So let's um, let's hope the, the Coinbase bulls can get this market out of its ass. It absolutely looks horrible, to be honest. Um, and I think the market kind of shares that sentiment. So that's really the only kind of hopium um, bulls have at this point. But this is just another um, bear setup unless we start claiming levels. So that's kind of it for Bitcoin. Um, wow, 30 minutes of talking about Bitcoin. Is um, ETH, ETH is, is still holding up pretty nicely. Um, I think ETH is kind of finishing this and there isn't a problem. If Bitcoin is gonna sell off, I'm not really sure if ETH is gonna hold. So there might be a throwback um, we already tested this level, so that would be kind of a second test. But honestly, um, on the daily, it probably is going to be looking to either test this region or this region. If not, and um, if Bitcoin is going to be bouncing here, we kind of have a breakout, a retest of this high. And then I think our targets at 0.05, 0.06 next so i'm not playing eth right now uh, until bitcoin kind of makes up its mind there's going to be opportunities on eth and i think the rest of the the old market versus bitcoin is kind of looking shaky um i looked at a chart of dart and link they're at resistances so um especially careful if bitcoin 
is going to be trying to to sell off, um, which might trigger a market wide sell off. So, kind of waiting what's going to happen on 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 Bitcoin here. Um, the buying on Coinbase is is quite strong, so let's hope that's going to pull us to um, to thirty eight, thirty nine, uh, and have a chance on continuation. I'm kind of scared that we may have issues. Here and here, so I don't know. Cautious, move slowly, don't risk too much, and um, let's wait for the daily close above 30k to um, to be making any more moves, and possibly, preferably, um, a close on the four hour above 31k. I'll see you on next. Sunday and um, hopefully, hopefully we can have some clarity in this super choppy market. Cheers.